Pakistan is blessed with some of the highest mountain peaks in the world. 8,000 meter high peaks like K2, Nanga Pabat, and Broad Peak stand majestically tall in a landscape where three great mountain ranges, the Himalayas, the Karakarams, and the Hindu Kush meet. At the confluence of the Karakaram and Hindu Kush mountain ranges in northern Pakistan, there is a picturesque valley by the name of Naltar that boasts towering mountains and magnificent wooded slopes on its either side. It was here in Naltar Valley that the sport of skiing took root for the first time in Pakistan. Soon after the partition of India in 1947, the Pakistan Air Force High Command decided to set up a mountain training school for its air crew in the idyllic valley of Naltar, close to the town of Gilgit. In 1958, a young Air Force officer by the name of Shah Khan was tasked to establish a snow survival school for the personnel of Air Force in the valley of Naltar. The visionary flight lieutenant Shah Khan included the sport of alpine skiing in the snow survival curriculum and then set about developing the ski slope and installing the ski lifts. Two other men who helped Shah Khan develop the ski facility in Naltar were Sergeant Iftihar Hussein and Warrant Officer Chuan. When the army established their school in uh, Naltar, Shah Khan, then a captain in the Northern Scouts, he was an instructor. So along with the skiing facilities, the slopes and all, Pakistan Air Force also acquired the services of then Captain Shah Khan. This was in 1958. At that time, the slopes were there, I mean the mountain was there, but there were no facilities as such. It was uh, Shah Khan that he initiated a project for installation of ski lifts at the slopes. So the first lift was installed in 1962-63 in Naltar. Soon the newly developed slope was buzzing with activity as the officers and men started getting their ski training under the meticulous eye of Flight Lieutenant Shah Khan. The locals from Naltar Valley who had been using improvised wooden skis since the olden times, flocked to the slope to witness the new sport with modern ski equipment. The Pakistan Air Force welcomed the curious locals, equipped them with modern skis, and soon they were training alongside the Air Force personnel on Nalter ski slopes. As the sport of skiing progressed and more people were trained, Interbase competitions and championships between different civil and military organizations became a regular feature in Naltar Valley. At present, there are four operational ski setups in Pakistan. The ski resorts in Naltar and Malamjaba both have state-of-the-art skiing facilities while the ski slopes at the Pakistan Air Force Base in Kalabakh, close to the famous hill station of Nathigali, and the Mountain Warfare School in Ratu that is run by the Pakistan Army, are simple training facilities, mostly used to teach and groom budding skiers. In the Valley of Naltar, the main slope that has been christened as the Shah Khan Ski Slope is of international standing and is carefully maintained and groomed by the latest snow pressing machines. Besides the towing lifts that pull the skiers up the slope, there is also a ski lift that transports the skiers all the way up to the top of the mountain. This facility that is run by the Ski Federation of Pakistan has all the amenities that are required by the skiers to ski safely and enjoyably. The ski setup in Naltar is also home to a snow survival school 
where search and rescue techniques and snow survival courses are regularly conducted for the Air Force personnel. In the early 90s, the Pakistan Tourism Development Corporation, with the help of the Austrian government, built the first civilian ski resort of international eminence at Malam Jaba in Swat Valley that provided a unique opportunity to the general public to learn the sport of skiing. Malam Jaba Ski Resort in Swat Valley also boasts a high-end ski slope and a ski lift that caters to the ski enthusiasts and general tourists in the winter season. The Ski Federation of Pakistan was formed in 1990 under the patronage of the Pakistan Air Force to promote and develop the sport of skiing in Pakistan and soon it was affiliated with the International Ski Federation as well. The Ski Federation of Pakistan works as an umbrella organization for a plethora of civil and military ski associations in the country. The first national skiing championship was held at Naltar in 1991. It became an annual event. In order to inspire and motivate female skiers, an all-women ski championship by the name of the Sanya Khan National Ski Cup is also organized every year. This championship is held in the memory of Sadia Khan, a young and budding ski star who died in an unfortunate car accident. The Ski Federation of Pakistan is very keen to encourage and promote female participation in the sport of skiing in the country and has trained many female skiers who have participated in national and international ski championships at home and abroad. The Wali sisters are a shining example in the field of skiing in Pakistan as they have competed and won many gold and silver medals in various national and international ski events. For women, I feel like every year I get to see more and more new faces for the championships in the national championships in the Sadia Khan Ski Cup. A lot of people are coming, a lot of people are taking interest in skiing and I think the sport is evolving in a very rapid manner here in Pakistan. With the development of the ski resort in Malam Jaba and the keen efforts of the Ski Federation of Pakistan to train and groom skiers of international ranking, a new chapter opened up in the progression of skiing in the country. Pakistan entered the arena of international skiing when Mohammad Abbas, a native of Nalter village, qualified and participated in the Winter Olympics Games held in Vancouver, Canada in the year 2010. Pakistan is another nation competing at the Winter Games for the first time, and their flag bearer is their lone athlete. The story of Abbas is a curious one. Born and raised in the village of Naltar, Abbas grew up sliding on his homemade wooden skis. As a kid, he used to watch the skiers on the Naltar slopes and harbored dreams of becoming a skiing hero one day. <laughs> Growing up in a modest household, Abbas was smitten with skiing from a very young age. He had carved himself a pair of wooden skis and went slip sliding all the time. Ha <laughs> ha! 
मेरा नाम मोहम्मद अब्बास मैं नल नलतर वादी नलतर का रहने वाला हूँ जो कि पीछे जो गांव नज़र आ रहा है पहाड़ नज़र आ रहा है इसके दामन में मेरा घर है और मैं जो स्किंग सीखा हूँ वो लकड़ की स्किंग से सीखा हूँ जो कि खुद मैंने बनाई है और ख़ुद तीन चार साल में उस पर स्किंग करता रहा हूँ और बाद में जो है स्की फेडरेशन ने अपने इधर नलतर में एक सेटअप बना दिया और स्किंग अच्छा इक्विपमेंट आ गया अच्छी फैसिलिटी दे दी और उससे हमने सीख के मैं पाकिस्तान का फर्स्ट ओलम्पियन बन गया हूँ Abdul Karim who also hails from Nalter Valley is another ski athlete who is going places in the sport of skiing in the country. He has participated in the Sochi Winter Olympic Games in Russia in 2014, the Asian Winter Games in Japan in 2017 and has won many gold and silver medals in different national championships. The second international ski championship was held in Malam Jaba in March 2017. where 32 athletes from 9 different countries took part in the competitions organized by the ski federation of pakistan and facilitated by the fis this championship turned out to be a successful event This international ski championship where alpine skiing, slalom and joint slalom competitions were organized is a turning point for the sport of skiing in Pakistan. I would say the future has just begun here in Pakistan. My name is Tanya. I'm from uh, Ukraine ski team. Uh, and we were invited here by Pakistan Ski Federation and uh, we are really grateful for that. The races are one of, of the best I ever have been for the first time pakistan is organizing international women championship skiing in skiing and i'm so happy about it or i'm learning a lot from international skiers as well the closing ceremony for the international skiing championship in 2017 was held in islamabad it was a dazzling affair The ever developing sport of skiing in Pakistan has bright prospects as the ski federation is taking measures on multiple fronts to promote the sport of skiing in the country. One of the major steps in this regard is the exploration of the glacier that lies in the lap of Nalter mountain as a viable option for a ski slope where skiing will be possible even in the summer time. and where the skiers will be able to practice and train without waiting for the winter months the mountain peaks of the great karakoram range are still rising and so is the sport of skiing in pakistan and the story of skiing that started with the vision of shah khan is still being written in golden letters on the ski slopes of pakistan <laughs>